Happy holidays everyone! Are you still trying to find presents for people if you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa? Or just don't celebrate any holiday and feel pressured to give people stuff because of Secret Santa? Anyway, this video is about travel stuff to basically just inspire that wonderlust in people and hopefully they're useful gifts that they'll like because you got them a gift. So anyway, I had a haul from Amazon with travel stuff helping me with the trip that I'm on right now and hopefully this will help you for your travel enthusiast friends. So first off, I'm in a very hot destination in Africa and you need sunscreen. You don't want to come back and end up being three different shades because of your one layering, your two forgetfulness to put sunscreen on, and three not caring to put sunscreen on. So a good way to put sunscreen on easily is using a spray sunscreen. So as you can see this wonderful, wonderful zoom in, this is what I'm going to be using. So it's SPF 30, so 3% of the uh, UVB rays are going to actually get to me, but at least that's better than 100% because I mean, come on, skin cancer is a no-no. Anyway, this is a pretty good option. Um, it comes, it sprays on pretty clean and leaves you kind of a little bit oily, but then afterwards you're protected. You won't get sunburned and you'll come back somewhat the same shade that you actually were. So there's that. So for the friend that must let the whole world know where they are by a slideshow of pictures or just got into photography and start shooting everything. And when I mean everything, I mean cupcakes clouds, squirrels, the works, memory cards, whether or not they actually are using these in a camera or in their laptop, these would help. Nowadays, cell phones with good memory, or at least like a certain amount of memory that suits our lifestyle is hard to find, so these help a lot. Now, the one I'm using in this camera actually goes up to 90 mega megabytes yeah megabytes per second squared now this one this one is 95 as you can see which helps a lot with 60 frames per second and a full hd video which i'm attempting to record at right now anyway yeah it also has photo recovery software wait a minute i saw a trial never mind but uh yeah I, one of the people I'm subscribed to showed that there was a Black Friday deal on this that continued later on. So this is a pretty good brand from what I'm hearing on Reddit and on YouTube. So try it out. You can just put it in your computer and then put your photos on there after you've transferred it from your phone to your computer or use your camera and transfer it from your camera to your computer to on here. And then yeah, as some people have always heard, it's you can never have too many memory cards or batteries. The same rules I always break every time I use my camera. Every single time. <laughs> so do you have a friend that actually really wants to take care of their hair during the wonderful travels or in general just needs help with their hair? You can try some leave-in conditioner. So this is what I use on the ends of my hair. Now, even though I'm going to a hot country, I don't really need to protect my hair as much as I do in a colder place or a colder climate, you gotta make sure your hair is like together. Even though humidity is not really a thing where I'm going, I don't want my hair to have flyaways like it always does here. So, hair products are a really good travel thing. Now, obviously, you don't wanna give them this big size, but what you can do, is buy them one of those like travel containers with little bottles and then fill them up with product so this is that product i just showed you and uh yeah this is what i'll be taking on my trip obviously this is too much for one month but better safe than sorry what if it explodes at least i can like salvage the gooey mess that i just caused now you have this other friend 
who apparently overpacks and packs too much stuff or has that ridiculously 15 inch or even 17 inch computer for some strange reason and is taking it with them on their vacation either a digital nomad or they're just an overpacker like myself so book bags I got this after having a recommendation from one of the people I watch on YouTube and uh, I coincidentally had this saved in my wish list and it went on sale so I decided to buy it. And it also came with this little tiny pouch that I can put like my camera stuff once I finally get an appropriate camera bag. Now the cool thing about this is it has that like hipster style, bottle not included, <laughs> hipster style to it. but. It looks like it has these flaps that you do, but they're actually snaps, which is pretty cool. And it's a drawstring type that you put over. So yeah, this can actually fit a 15 inch computer, which I, I, I happen to have. And it's insides look like this. So you've got like two pockets. This black part is actually where you put your laptop and whatnot. And it passed my bottle test. Now this is my water bottle I use at school and I'm going somewhere hot. I'm bringing this with me to make sure I have water with me. And I always hated it that my book bag that I use currently at school cannot fit my uh, water bottle. It has those tiny mesh ones. You can fit like water, uh, like the tiny ones that are about this big or the little juice packs. And now granted I've had this book bag, not this one, but my regular one since middle school it's been over 10 years i've been using it it's it's been through vacuums destroying the straps it's been through a few washes that weren't supposed to happen it survived but i think it's time to retire it and i actually wanted to get this just for traveling but it's the quality at least from what i'm seeing is pretty good now this is the calco band calco band calco um brand now I'm pronouncing it like that because the Romanji I'm seeing on here for the name because it is in either Japanese or Chinese. I'm reading it with Japanese. But yeah, it's pretty good. There are a lot of lookalikes, so I think any of them should be fine. But in general, if someone's already used it and showed me how they used it and it worked out for them, I might as well. Plus there's some really nice like padding here and also has like some little space you can like clip on your keys and whatnot. And this pocket here has a little zip so that it's harder if people wanna like go into your bag and whatnot. And yeah, it's a pretty good solid bag. It feels solid. And last but not least, continuing from the last item I just showed, you still have that friend who overpacks, but it's with their stuff. Not in their carry-on or their personal item, just in their check bag because they think they're going somewhere for a week, I need to pack for a year. Yes, I'm talking about myself. Anyway, packing cubes! These are also recommended by the person that I watch, Sweet and Tasty TV. I'll link her channel below and it even came with a guide for all the things. So now this is a four pack, it comes with a large, um, yeah. An extra large, a large, a medium, and a small packing cube. And it comes with this really cool packing cube organizer thing so that I can put it at home and not let it get dusty and lose it because the name's right here. Anyway, let's actually open this up. Let's see. Okay, so you have the baby one. This is pretty cute. They say to put um, the small one socks. Now, personally, I wouldn't just put socks in here. I'd put some like light camisoles, underwear, socks, thick socks. Like if I'm going to a winter destination, those under things. You know what I mean? Just put them all here. Cause why would you just put socks in here? But at the same time, that is for the 10-day trip one. Me. Then you have the next size up, which is the medium, I want to say it is. Now you can see it's a lot bigger. And for this one, they recommend shirts and blouses. I'm using the 10 day trip guideline because it uses all the bags, but 
yeah i put shirts and blouses in here thin ones and whatnot so that i mean if i've already put my underwear and camisoles and socks in there and then i just put my shirts all i have to worry about is my bottoms and dresses if i'm taking so that's already half a lot of space and you can stuff a lot of stuff a stuff in here but the good thing is it has like these little mesh openings so that they can breathe so like toss maybe a dryer sheet in here and you're good to go like everything will smell lavender or clean sheet fresh and then you have the lodge or is this another medium i can't tell let's check Two of the same size. I'm an idiot. Who the thunk? Or maybe they are not. I just can't see it for the life of me. Anyway, two of them, they're the same size. Oh, looking on the camera, I am an idiot. These are not the same size. This is slightly bigger. So let's look back on here. So you have four pajamas, dress shirts, dresses, boxers, and undergarments. Okay, so are you packing for yourself or two people? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, so let's call this the large size. It's a little bit bigger. I'd put my jeans in here, definitely. And yeah, there's not much to say about that. They have a lot of different colors, which is pretty cool. And then the like pack part changes with each of the colors. So everything's color coordinated. I like to get myself in blue. I don't care what kind of blue it is. Well, I do. It has to be the cheaper one, but yeah. And then we have the behemoths. Oh, yeah, this thing's huge. This is the extra large size, at least in my size category. And what you put in here is one sweater slash cardigan, three pants, six shorts slash skirts. That's it. I could fit like, well, my sweaters suck, so of course I could fit a ton of sweaters in here. I hate myself. <laughs> but yeah, this I would probably use. I don't know what I. Would, I don't have that many clothes, and even though even though I do overpack, I don't know why I would use this. I'd probably give it to my brother. He could put all his stuff in here, and then he's done packing. That happened the last time when we went to Hershey Park. He just took a duffel bag, and me and my mom got like suitcases. <laughs> Good. Anyway, if you're an overpacker, I mean, like, it's it's gonna be pretty hard to overpack a lot of this stuff, especially if you have cubes like dictating. But it's pretty cool that they have a guide for it and whatnot. Yeah. And they also have a lifetime warranty, but you gotta go register for it, which I'm going to do that right after this video. But yeah, they've got tips, tutorials. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you can use these. So one of them, I could use the really big one for shoes. That's true, I could use it for shoes. See what happens when you read. Reading. Everyone should try it. But uh, yeah, that's everything I got, basically. I know this is a pretty stupid video, but that's everything I got. So if you got ideas for your friends or just needed to know about this stuff because you're gonna buy it for yourself then i hope i helped you and uh yeah still trying to learn how to use the camera i can see that it's obviously making me blindingly bright yeah amateur photographer here but anyway i hope you like this video and uh if you did like the video if you want more videos like this which i do make them regularly because I shop too much subscribe anyway hopefully your christmas shopping your procrastinating christmas christmas shopping goes well and uh i'll see you guys in january or next week or both that's the same thing <laughs> bye let's end this video though bye